guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome 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 and if you are returning you is a loyal one so today eh, today i wanted to film a makeup video but it's not a tutorial i'm just gonna be doing my face it's literally in the night i have nowhere to go but i really wanted to like do my face and play around with some selfies because i haven't taken selfies in a while and I wanted to do a video at the same time. So I was like, hmm, let's do a makeup video and yeah, let's do a makeup video and um do some assumptions. So I went on Instagram and on my YouTube community thing and the community tab and i asked you guys to give me and throw me those assumptions with all honesty so i'm going to try and separate my emotions <laughs> from this video and just be really like neutral and take it as you're not you're not coming for me it's an assumption okay so that's how i'm gonna try and do this let me know if you like these light settings i'm using a ring light for the first time in my life i don't know if this is how it's supposed to look i don't know but anyway so the very first assumption i got was that i am a snob it says you are a snob i don't want to lie yesterday when i read this because i did the poll last night i was finished i was like me what does that even mean so we're gonna google like i was literally in tears so we're gonna de we're gonna define a snob. A snob is a person with an exaggerated respect for high social position or wealth, who seeks to associate with social superiors and looks down on on those regarded as socially inferior. Her example: Her mother was a snob and wanted a lawyer as a son. A person who believes that their taste in their their tastes in a particular area are superior to those of other people so basically that's what you're this is what the assumption is saying which is extremely super 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 false guys no me never no 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 i am not a snob in any way shape or form wait yeah i'm not a snob at all never have been if anything i'm in the opposite role where i'm the one that's getting looked down at you know because i don't really have like socially i'm not that person all the way up there you know um regardless like i just yeah no so i don't really want to like over explain why i am not a snob but i'm not a snob nope i don't take offense to that yeah no i'm not gonna like go deep into this one i'm not a snob absolutely not um the next one it says um you're quick to put people in their place but you are a really genuine and loving person true yes so that is quite an accurate assumption This one I'm not proud of and definitely you are you're quite accurate with your assumption that you're making. Um I am quite quick to put people in their place. I am quite quick and you're probably saying this because you've seen me tell people off in the comments <laughs> probably because I mean yeah that's the only place where you would have seen me tell people off um i never really tell people off in a comment in my videos so i feel like this assumption stems from something you've seen in the comments and it's fair yes definitely a hundred percent i will like if you come for me i'll come even harder and that's just the way i am um and it stems from past situations you know but my thing is guys man i hate this whole cyber bullying thing that is happening i hate it with all my heart like it literally just i don't know 
it it breaks my heart to see people be so rude to each other on the internet like what was the reason like what provoked you to be so mean to the next person like you don't know them like that you don't know me like that i don't know you like that so what is causing you to be so so mean like i don't get it i really like i really don't get it so definitely if you come for me if you come for my loved one you're gonna get it like i'm definitely going to shout and i'm going to say mean things because why are you being mean to me like why are you being mean to me unprovoked i did nothing to you why are you being mean to me like don't come here in my videos and come and comment shit i'm going to come harder like i'm literally going to put you in your place don't do that i hate that both times i didn't really have to say much because ria went and dealt with these people that were being rude in the comments but obviously um she replied i replied and the people deleted their comments which is another thing if you're going to delete your comment that means either one of two things it means either you were being rude and you realize your mistake or you feel what i said is rude and offensive to you but my thing is I'm, I respond to comments how you how you comment so I'll respond in the same or similar tone and if you're trying me I'm gonna try you back and for most part like I'm not I'm not one for drama like I don't like drama there that is why I don't like this whole time bullying thing I hate it but if you're coming for me or my loved ones in my video like the thing is you need to understand and respect the fact that this is my channel okay the people that are in the people that i'm showing in these videos they're my friends they're my family my partner so honestly they didn't ask for it so they don't ask to be on this channel which makes sense why some people like don't show their partner or certain people in their lives on youtube or on the internet completely because people are so rude and people just say the meanest things and people are just like awful at this point in life so i feel like you have to be understanding and think that this person did not ask to be on this person's channel but this person is on this channel because they are friends or they're this person's partner or they're this person's sibling hence they are so don't come for them if you have anyone if you want to come for anybody come for me don't come for them because it's not their channel it's not their platform don't come for them they don't ask to be on the channel if you want to come for anybody come for me it's my channel if you want to judge anyone judge me because it's my channel my name is in there it says so come for if you want to come for somebody let it be me nobody else but myself but i'm gonna come back 10 times harder but don't do that don't do that i don't like that guys you uh, there's something i'm passionate about it's it has to be that i'm a very sensitive person guys i'm very emotional i am very sensitive and so like when you say something mean to me like i and also i am very sober-minded i know how to differentiate between constructive criticism and someone coming for me and most of the time that's what i'm saying it's only two times we have had to deal with this because it's not that people have not commented negative things but some things are not negative people are actually just giving you a different take on it you know a different perspective on something so like look at it that way like okay this person is guiding me i mean at the end of the day you are the one that watches this video so guide me fine definitely but once you start coming for me i know how to navigate there's a very thin line between the two and i can see it from miles apart so if you're gonna come for me i'm gonna come for you too mm -hmm. until i am like a billionaire guys a multi-billionaire because that's what i want to be i need to be a multi-billionaire whereas i probably will be too even too sticking rich to see your negative comment um like like i won't even care i won't but until then for now don't come for me because i'll come back harder and not saying that i really want that like if you actually actually just stay off my channel like if you are those people about the drama who want to cause drama and create fake accounts and comment negative things on people's channels i would much rather prefer that you actually um just don't come on this channel at all like legit just skip it 
a jam. Thank you, girl. You said also that I am a really genuine and loving person. Thank you. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to not be taking these assumptions personally at all. I always make my eye look too dark, which irritates me so much because I want it to be a light brown. And I can really tell that this brown color that I have used. She's too dark, honey. She's definitely too dark. The next assumption is <laughs> you're ready to have children. <laughs> now, no, ma'am. Kids, no. Not that I don't like kids. Not that I think you should have kids at a certain age and stuff like that. No. Um, it's not even about that. It's just that me personally, I'm not ready to have kids. I love kids with all my heart. If you know me, you know that I'm literally like... I love kids wholeheartedly. I have this niece that I love so, so dearly. And yeah, I'm not against having kids or anything. But I'm at that phase where I love them, but they need to go back home. And home is not in my house or where I stay. So, no. Love kids, but I'm definitely not ready. So, no. That is very wrong. At least not now, guys. <laughs> at least not now. No. Not at the moment. I'm not ready to have kids. I got a lot of this one. Um, you have ma You have a lot of money. So, firstly, I don't know why you guys think that. Like, I really would like to. Like, I wonder why. Why do you guys think I have a lot of money? Like, where does it stem from? Lee Wuni guy. Like, what? Not Lee Wuni guy, but like. Kiing Ili Wuni that makes you guys feel hurry. Mugelo umani. Because, wow, I'm pretty basic. Um, If you watch my vlogs, you'll see that my life is pretty basic. Um. It's just that the thing is guys, I really like nice things and I believe that in life you need to make your heart happy. Nah, driving the car that I drive makes me happy. Even though at the end of like after they take my installment I'm like freak because Kesalaka there's this much money. It doesn't matter because happy, you know. Me, um doing what? What else do we have money? The clothes are we? I don't really wear expensive clothes. I don't. I actually don't. Like, no, I don't. The, the most expensive shop that I go to, get Zara. And I say Zara is expensive. Zara is expensive. You are. Like, it is genuinely like really, really expensive. No jokes. Like, Zara is so expensive, you know. Mm -mm. So I don't have money, guys. I lived a very normal life, and I still do. Um, my parents are not directors and CEOs and stuff of any company. My parents are workers, like general workers, like they're employees. My dad is retired now, but they've always been like general workers. And then my mom stopped working in the year 2000 or 1999, can't remember. And she started working again in 2007 when my brother was going to grade one. So but like they work they, they have general normal jobs and i have a normal job myself i'm not a manager i'm not a director so i don't know where that stems from we live a pretty normal life so, so um no definitely i do not come from money and i do not have um money but i receive what i know is that i'm going to have I'm going like I just told you guys. I'm going to be a multi-billionaire soon, and in God's timing, it's coming. Um, quote me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have money, guys. Bro. I'm going to be filthy rich. It has to happen. So yeah, that is coming. You like sugary stuff over salty stuff. That's the next assumption. A hundred and ten percent. I am obsessed with sugar over like real, like I can have dessert over real food in somebody. You are good with your finances. 
I try my best to do what I can. I'm really not where I want to be with my finances. Um, however, like when I need to save up money for whatever reason, I will save up money. But I, I try when I need to be, I can be, but I'm also at the same time I'm very reckless. I'm not I'm not reckless, but I am very impulsive, that's the word. I'm very impulsive with my money. So as much as I can save, I only save when I need to save. Um, which is a downfall guys you need to say like if you can lately like, sometimes you don't afford to save you understand which is a real thing i hate it i'm gonna start again it's too brown okay the next assumption is me trying my face from scratch i'm, con I'm gonna continue with assumptions regardless uh, the next assumption I'm a perfectionist. Very accurate. Very, 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 very. Like, guys, it's crazy. It's actually unnecessary for me to be doing the things that I'm doing. Um, like, for instance, a good example of me being a perfectionist like in everything that i planned like a baby shower or whatever i need it to come out the way i planned it to come out in my head and if it doesn't i get very frustrated um which is very annoying it's also a trait that i have that honestly i could do without this one i'm just like whoa god this one yankee male you know yankee male like guys but anyway i'm a perfectionist i am like i said i am very particular with how i want things um like for instance a good example now of me saying i am a perfectionist the way my sandwich has to be so i love sandwiches right and i love how i make my own sandwiches but my sandwich has to be structured in a very particular order so how you structure my sandwich is it will be bread and i don't put butter on my bread I put mayonnaise so that's the first thing don't ugh. like if you're gonna be putting eggs and eating and eating don't put butter on it but if it's a simple cheese sandwich you know then it's okay so we use mayonnaise instead of butter and then after more we put lettuce right so the reason why we put the lettuce is because I don't like how because next I need sweet chili I put sweet chili for the taste of my egg but I can't have sweet chili on my against my mayonnaise because I feel like sweet chili and mayo together taste like well on bread most of the time or is it butter I don't know but one of them one of the combos tastes like peanut butter so I don't let my sweet chili and my mayo touch I don't eat peanut butter so I put lettuce and I put lettuce in abundance because I really like lettuce so I put it in abundance and then after putting on the lettuce I put on sweet chili and then I put on my egg because the reason why I'm putting sweet chili is for the egg so the sweet chili and the lettuce have to and the sweet chili and the egg have to be against each other so then it's the egg and then it's the cheese because the cheese has to melt um so I put the cheese right up on top of the warm egg that I just got off the pan. After the cheese, then I can put the other, the other, if I'm doing just the cheese and egg, then I can put on the other, I can put on the other bread. But if I'm going to put in something like meaty, like either chicken poloni or a patty, then that would come on top of the the cheese so i am quite particular about my the things that i want and again i link Ghana also on top of that i'm very stubborn so hey what a mess what a mess next you're not a nice person um I don't know who is this person i don't know i don't know you um i don't know why you would assume 
I'm not a nice person but also it's an assumption so I'm not even going to try and get mad about it because also I'm trying to deal with that part of my life I just you know um but I don't know really I don't know if I should say I'm a nice person because what if I'm not like really guys like what if I think I'm a nice person but I'm not a nice person I don't know like that one honestly I feel like it's something that I can't judge on myself like I feel like that one it's beyond me if you did something or you said something to me and you felt I wasn't nice to you um, then I was not nice then I was not a nice person to you but if you know you feel like I'm a nice person then also you know to each their own I am fully aware of the fact that in life you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea you know um, you, not everyone is going to like you you're not going to match everyone's personality you're not going to be nice to everyone you're not going to be a good person to everyone it's okay get life like ill get life you guys what's happening out here why do i look white anyway i don't know what's happening with you um it's it's really really like it's so okay <laughs> it's really okay so honestly that one i i get if i was not a nice person to you then i was not a nice person to you and you have every right to feel that i'm not a nice person not to say i'm not a nice person but don't judge me firstly unfairly don't judge me based on what you heard someone else say judge me on what what you experienced through me um don't judge me don't be biased and judge me based on what you heard Umganwako say and yeah be fair like you know also be understanding of the situation what what did you do did you trigger me not that it's okay to go stab someone because they said they hate the switch beauty palette but because you like it you're gonna stab them you know so we, we need to be cautious so honestly Rina in in primary school i think they taught yeah i was in primary school they taught us that for every for every right as much as the relevant everybody rights you have rights but for every right there's a responsibility so i it is what it is mate it is what it is that one i feel like um, i can't answer i get if i was nice to you um, but i don't feel like i'm just someone who's walking around being mean and being angry and being a bad person no you know i that i don't think but yeah like i said it is what it is you were an a student in high school and university i was not an a student in high school um yeah i just whew, my way through high school you know what i'm saying like that was literally me in high school i was just Passing by, flying by, doing whatever the hell I wanted to. Honestly, I didn't take high school seriously at all. And don't be like me, kids. If you're in school, don't do that. Like, take high school very seriously. But I didn't take high school a little as seriously as I took varsity. So, honestly, I could have applied myself better in high school. And I could have done better in high school. But for me, I would have much rather, like, done the extracurriculums than actually like studied for tests and shit like that so and if i don't like a subject or something then i was not gonna do well in it like i feel like at some point i actually deliberately flipped because i did it i feel like i deliberately filled it because i wanted to change it and my dad wouldn't let me so i feel different purpose um but yeah honestly really don't be like me i was that sh that kid that was trying to be honest like i was trying in high school um i don't think i was doing my best but i was trying you know and i did i, I like i said i wasn't doing i didn't do my best but i did what i wanted to and i got decent marks but i was definitely not an student um look definitely not varsity on the other hand i did pretty well in varsity 
um, I still wouldn't say like, if you're an A student you get straight A's right I, I didn't get straight A's but I got a very good amount of distinctions in varsity um, so yeah like yeah varsity I did definitely thrive because I was doing something that I really really enjoyed that I really really love so even those subjects that people would say are difficult like stats for instance people hate stats I personally enjoyed stats and I got distinctions for stats so some another thing is your attitude towards something but in varsity mm -hmm. I tried my best team but I know I'm the kind of person who has to be focused and really really wanted otherwise um you are financially stable thank you i receive i am not there yet there but it's coming um you are a very kind-hearted person thank you i would like to believe i am like i try my best to be kind-hearted um you love your boyfriend very much i do intensely you seem strict even on yourself yeah! that one that one cut deep that one, that one could really, um, I am, I am very strict, I am very strict, I think, yo, I'm so strict, and I'm, and I give a also, um, but I get that from my mom, my mom is the exact same way, my mom is very strict, um, even her face is strict, like, my mom, yo, my mom doesn't have a friendly face at all, a lot of people are like, no, yo, your mom, is so strict and I'm just like mm -hmm. so yeah but she's actually pretty cool and chilled um, but I feel like her strictness is necessary um, especially when raising kids y'all sometimes you gotta be strict because these children don't listen so yeah I am strict I am I am you don't really like making new friends you're comfortable with your circle as it is fact um i i don't know i don't feel like it's something that i need to explain or that i can't even explain i don't know if i have the words if i know where i would start if i were to explain that one but guys you I've been through a lot with friends and honestly like I'm not a one person one friend kind of girl I have a good amount of friends you guys have seen them and all the friends that I have I have acquired throughout the years I have my own issues with the friends that I have right now like I don't see them enough and because we have our own lives you know what I'm saying and like us getting together all of us being able to have a date where we can all make it is hard enough I can't anyway yeah that's that on the friends thing I'm not really comfortable with I'm very comfortable with the friends that I have um, I understand the friends that I have I understand their flaws they understand mine yeah no uh, you come from a very from a wealthy family thank you very much we receive it in Jesus name we don't currently have the wealth but clearly it's coming and I'm not being sarcastic or rude to anyone I'm genuinely receiving this wealth thing that you guys are sending our way I'm actually genuinely like receiving it next assumption Financially, you're doing well, like Unali Chile. <laughs> love you loads, by the way. Love you too. Financially, like I said, I cannot chile it like that. I have enough. I work with a salary. Um, but, like, to be like, Unali Chile, that sounds like you calling me um, a millionaire. I need to get there, but at the moment, no. The next one is very smart, love your boyfriend and burns to the moon. Very smart, thank you. Um, when I want to be smart, I can be very smart. I love my people. 
like i love my people i love my people so so much like i love them definitely it's very rare if this day and age to have genuine friends you know what i'm saying and my friends are pretty genuine like i have really genuine friends and even though we don't talk as much you know as we would like to talk and we don't see each other as much as we would like to but when when we link up it's a good time you know it's like we never it's like we've been talking every single day try and check up on each other um as best as we can i'm just gonna lower the light so i can see what i'm doing properly because i'm not trying to come out here looking ghosty your dress code is top notch especially for work purposes uh, thanks <laughs> appreciate it um look i try but i like to look good i like to look good i like to look like i put in effort you know you know what i'm saying like i put together a look that's how i like to how i like to look and stuff i like to look good i really, really like to look good and i'm glad that you guys notice i don't always look amazing you know but for the most part i like to look good yes i have days and i'm just like whatever i came to work didn't i but not like in my slippers and in pajamas no <laughs> no i would be dressed but it's just like i'm dressed in whatever i'm not really like too focused on what i'm wearing it's just it's a matter of i'm dressed i came to work you know what i'm saying um yeah that is that but i do my dress code mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, it be slapping you're strict i'm very strict um yes definitely you did say that you are shy i am extremely shy guys i am so so shy that it's scary how shy i am like i'm so so shy like i would never ever approach anyone for anything because i am so shy i am extremely shy definitely you hit it on uh, 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 the head next one <laughs> the youtube ones not an assumption just facts you're beautiful kind and strong thank you girl um you don't want you don't want like people you don't want people who take advantage of your kind you're a great person thank you so so much i definitely hate when people take advantage of others don't take advantage of me, don't take advantage of my parents, don't take advantage of my siblings, don't take advantage of my partner, don't take advantage of my friends. Don't. Don't do that. Like, I'd be getting so riled up when people be trying to take advantage of my loved ones. I'm just like, what are you doing? Who do you think you are? Don't do that. Like, don't mess with my people. Don't come for my people. Like I said earlier, don't come for my people, don't mess with my people. Simple. So yeah, definitely I hate when people take advantage. Um, so stay woke, guys, because I don't want people taking advantage of my subscribers. You, you have never experienced the struggle of job hunting. This one really, really broke my heart. Um, because especially like right now with what is happening in our country, guys, ugh, it'd be stressing me out. People are losing their jobs. People are being put on deferred employment. My anxiety literally peaks so this assumption it's a yes and it's also a no so initially now i'm gonna give you guys a long story initially i never had the issue of struggling with employment because shout out to uj because uj told us like it's not gonna be easy looking for a job it's not easy um out there in the corporate world looking for jobs it's not hard. so they made it really um realistic process for us to already know that it's not going to be an easy thing and they put measures in place they made us do assignments for 
things like CV writing. So they, we attended workshops and we had assignments for things like CV writing, interview skills, um, presentation skills, Excel, Word, and all of that. Um, so they made sure that in that aspect, they try and prepare us as much as they possibly can. They had a portal where we can see companies that are hiring, um, where we can also apply for jobs. So I really say shout out to UJ because I went to UJ and I know what UJ did. I didn't go to any other varsity, so I don't know what they did. So I really can't speak for them or on their behalf, but I'm not sure ripping UJ because they definitely did the things over there. So we were, we went into third year very realistic. We went into third year knowing that it's a dog eat dog world out there. And we then, my friends and I, um, we started applying and looking for jobs in third year we didn't even know if we we're gonna pass or not but we were already looking for jobs so we spent our third year looking for jobs literally i'm not even joking guys and i remember there was an opportunity where um there was a job opportunity where i can't remember if all my friends applied or if Oh my word, I did not even bake. Um, I don't remember if, if everyone applied or if it was just me and Ria. But me and Ria applied for this opportunity. And it was a job. Um, so Ria and I applied. And a couple of other people we went to school with. And Ria and I went, got in, um, we got, based on our marks, we got, um, selected for interviews so we went for interviews and with us yeah so we got selected for interviews so we went for the interview we and I together and honestly I was just happy to be doing this with someone that I know so that you know I don't be getting lost and stuff because they be taking taxis to Midrand and you cannot go to Jobek South guys pro and we're not from Jobek South so it's very like you know it's a tricky situation so anyway um yeah we got an opportunity we went for interviews and we made it to the second round of the thing so Rhea and i went again and second round i didn't make it so Rhea made it so Rhea got her first job already while we were in third year she was working so i didn't get it uh, but she did and honestly it was difficult i don't want to lie it was a really weird situation because she got it i didn't but i was never ever jealous of Rhea getting this opportunity if anything i was very happy and i was very supportive i was very happy for her and i was supportive of the fact that you know you're really building your cv friend and it's such a good thing you know at least one of us and doesn't have to stress so now we focus on the other you know like it's less stress so like okay you got it okay now let's keep on working so that the other one gets it like literally um but anyway um i continue to look for jobs and i continue to attend classes and be in school and actually ria needs to pay me money because i got her through third year because she wasn't attending classes anymore so um, we lived in the same unit at Res, well, student accommodation. We lived in the same unit, so I would like teach her. Um, so she would try and self study certain things, but wherever she didn't understand, I would step into my lecture mode. I actually should have noticed then that teaching is my thing, but I would step into my lecture mode and I would teach her. And she did well, she passed, she got the distinctions, honey. Come on, so yeah. Obviously, she got a distinction because I got mine and how can I teach her something that's wrong? That would be messy. Um, anyway, yeah, so um, We you know, I would cook for that bitch. Actually, Rhea knows Rhea lives. Rhea, I don't even know what she was. She owe me your whole life. So I would cook for Rhea and she would eat and then <laughs> after we eat we do school so i'll tell her okay this is the homework that we have and i would submit her assignments for her oh my gosh i'm such a good friend this actually made me happy because i didn't think about it like that but anyway um like i never thought about it like that but anyway 
um okay fine so let's contour my nose so yeah i would cook for her and then um and she was on a diet and i could i'd cook for her her healthy food and i'd cook my normal food and then um we get into school we do our homework i teach her what i needed to teach her so we read some we write our assignments we submit and stuff like that so what she would do is basically attend um when we were writing exams so obviously she can't not attend or write her exams so that is when she would come to school for monday to friday she was working if we didn't have anything any exam and then her um as time went by time went by um, my thing was I needed to like find the silver lining in the whole situation which I mean I wasn't employed then and I mean God knew why I should not be employed at that point in time you know and everything happens for a reason and I feel like personally the the job was not what they made it out to seem like it was actually quite hectic and I don't know if I would have been able to cope and balance both, you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that I was able to be there for my friend and help her out on the journey and you know help out with the schoolwork and stuff. And then um, later on in the year a friend of ours got she found out about this other place that was hiring and she was like in the last round she was like in the last no she actually wasn't but she found out about this place that was hiring and she let me know and i applied guys um okay what i'm about to say might not apply to our current situation right now but um we didn't have wi-fi address and data has always been expensive like i said um no we don't come from wealthy families i certainly don't and my friends also don't so it was difficult for us to have data to go and play on our laptops and um apply for jobs we we're just grateful we had laptops but the thing is at school we have computer labs so that is when we applied like all the jobs would sit at the computer labs and be sending out emails of our cvs so that was that um, but what I'm saying is right now, obviously, with COVID-19, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, times are a little different and times are a little weird, but okay, hold that look, we'll go back to normal soon. So, um, yeah, she told me about this place that was hiring that she had been, she's going to an interview for. So, I was like, oh, okay, cool, um, I'll check it out. So, I did and I applied and they called me for an interview and i went for my interview and it was around like i think we were in the process for about two to three months the interview process was hectic no child's play at all um so okay fine so at that point job hunting was not an issue because before i even graduated i had a job okay so i got a job immediately after i see my last exam then but thing the thing is guys life ne life is so unpredictable and it doesn't go the same for everyone like in essence we go through the same shit just not at the same time and not in the same way or manner but we kind of go through the same shit so I'm working i worked i worked i worked and i worked right through 2018 september and then i resigned and i went somewhere else because i wanted to do something that's more accounting specific like accounting related because i studied accounting so i got another opportunity and i went and that didn't work out for me and i resigned it was tough it was very difficult for me to be unemployed for some of my life but okay that is when i struggled in getting a job and yo it was difficult but it took me three months which personally i am very grateful for i feel like three months is nothing um people go through years of unemployment and it's no joke it's no joke looking for jobs it is no joke but i had phenomenal support all around like 
my family was amazing, school school was amazing, my friends were amazing. So, yes, so I definitely, it's a yes and no. Yes, eventually I didn't, in the beginning I didn't struggle, but I did get, I, I, I did at some point in my life get to a point where I struggled. Because I had to be out there in the market looking for a job. Um, but again, I understand that our dynamics are not the same and yeah is and you're very beautiful and i love you kitty from Costa queen oh thank you girl I love you too um you do not take your relationships or friendships for granted you value the people around you i think we've had something similar to this one definitely a hundred and thousand percent um you love gossip <laughs> no actually <laughs> I don't love gossip at all. I don't love gossip. I don't. I really don't. Like, you can tell me something, and I won't tell anyone unless, like, it affects me in some way. You know, if it affects me personally, my livelihood, whatever, then I will, like, tell someone. And usually, the people I would tell is Lucy, so Andrea. That's it. So, but, but otherwise, like, if it doesn't affect me, but that's that. Like, I'm not going around running my mouth. Definitely not. Like, <laughs> no, no. So that is incorrect. You see the David order no fish, my faces. You can't, you can't go out in public looking raggedy. You always have to look on the point. P.S. I love your spirit doll. Thank you. Um, I always go out looking raggedy, girl. <laughs> what you mean? Um, no, I no that's not correct like guys i'll be on my youtube channel in my duke with crust in my eyes like most of the time like literally i'm not even joking like genuinely real talk that's what be happening on here and you guys know it so no that one is very inaccurate like but like also ish I'm not. I'm trying to figure out if I would go to the shops in my dog. I'm trying to think. I don't think I would. Like in my dog that I sleep with, no. But like in another dog, you know, like I'd be wearing dog sometimes when I'm having a bad hair days, a bad hair day, then I'll, I'll rock a dog. But I don't have to be looking like top notch every time I step out of the house. No. Nope. Sometimes I'll just be throwing on. A loose home clothes you know your home clothes that you clean in not like torn or like stuff but like your home clothes yep I'd be doing that and I'd be going outside to go and buy bread or something I don't need to like look down up to go buy bread so nah that is inaccurate ma'am Next one, you're super strict. Definitely, I am. Not even gonna lie. No cap, I am. You're very smart academically when I want to. Um, yeah, when I want to. You like getting things done on your own. <laughs> oh, wow. Like literally my heart, I am gonna cry. Uh, she, girl, why is this girl coming for my neck? Hey, bro, and I know her. She's like a very loyal subscriber of mine. Damn. Okay, she said you like getting things done on your own, and as a result, you struggle asking for help. I feel like she's coming for me and she's coming for my neck but that is the no one has ever assumed a bit of truth about me like ugh. I don't ask for help guys and it's not even a pride thing it's not it's not a pride thing so I don't want anyone to take it personally but I don't ask for help and I'm gonna get emotional 
um wow okay it makes me emotional because people think i do it on purpose and people think like you know it's pride it's not a pride thing literally it's not a pride thing you know it's back going back to the assumption that i made earlier about me being a perfectionist it's that i feel like for something to be done right i have to do it myself i don't ask for help even in the house when i need something when i need to do something like i need to clean a particular thing i'm going to do it myself like for instance me moving my room so you know when you spring clean you move things around so my headboard is usually facing that way or that way or that and my window is that way so it's usually facing it's either facing that wall against the window or that wall and when i spring clean i don't ask for help and when i tell you that this headboard y'all know this headboard and i said in a video that i want to update my room but like give my room a makeover i need lots of money which i don't have um right now i don't have it yet we need to be very specific on how we speak we need to be very intentional with our words so i don't have it yet um but this headboard is heavy af because it is the two pedestals attached to it it is heavy and then i'm only dealing with a certain amount of space in my room all of that and maneuver all of that by myself not i have to I have a family. I have a brother. I don't know if y'all have seen my brother, but he like jumps, so he has these big muscles, and he can carry everything like it's feather light, you know. But I prefer to get things done by myself, you know. It's just the way. It's my personality. But asking for help, shit. Asking for help is the most difficult thing for me to do. Like, look, I'll figure it out instead of asking for help. Um. But yeah, yo, oh, she came to my edges. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. Another one is you can dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I dance? Can I go? Um, I used to. Back in my day. Back in my days, I drove like south. One day I need to tell you guys story time about our drove so south days. It's just that like. We, we literally like put them so far at the back of our minds because so um but yeah i used to um i don't think i can dance anymore like literally right now dancing is a little problem especially these are my piano dancers i struggle guys but i need to do better i need to learn how to do these dances but back in the day yeah yes back in the day I used to dance back in the day. Yep, you get my chai Um, you got it right, girl. Accurate. Then, this is the last one. Wow, this is this is long. Okay, all I can say is we can say whatever we can say, but be who you are and don't change for anyone. Cause tomorrow, cause tomorrow we can change. Cause tomorrow we can change for you so stay as you are and we love you as you are i feel like you i'm your sister part of your family you guys are so sweet like you guys are genuinely such amazing people and i love it oh thank you girl and that's what i'm saying that you know some things it is what it is i am who i am and that's why I can't remember which assumption it was and I was like unfortunately I can't change it but I'm like god this one I could have done without it you know it's a flaw to me I'm just like I think it's being a perfectionist and I, I can do without it but it is what it is what it is I am who I am yeah so I'm not gonna change for anyone other than myself and we all have our flaws i'm not perfect far from um, i'm not where i want to be far from but yeah. okay guys so thank you very much for watching this super long video of me talking about myself about 
answering your assumptions most of them you guys actually did really really well i must say most of them are like spot on i guess i guess i am very like myself in my videos and you guys can tell that i'm myself except for the money part okay i don't know i don't know but it's coming i feel like you guys are you know like a fortune teller yeah and also it's coming it's coming it's coming i'm gonna be a billionaire already have it planned out in jesus name i pray amen look yes thank you very much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys have a better perspective of who i am you know what i'm saying even though you guys actually like i'd like to say you guys know me a decent amount i think I portray myself I don't want to say well as if like in a perfection way but I mean well in a matter of truthfully like I show you guys who I am so yeah um yes so I am going to see you guys in the next video, video. I'm gonna go watch the videos are these people dancing I'm a piano dancer because after this lockdown when you are guys I don't know but after this lockdown like you know what's what what is what is going to slip harder than that first groove after lockdown tell me do you understand do you understand what is going to happen so I need to be ready for that so. Bye guys.